Hey Jelly Babes, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you four ways that you can do a nude tie-dye slash water marble effect. Um, obviously, normally they would be like these glasses, it would be bright, it would have that swirl, but I'm going to just sort of show you a, a more natural way to achieve it. I have already done a video along this line as in, you know, what if the colours are different? So this is what if uh, tie-dye was nude. So I really hope that you like it and let's get into the tutorials. So all of the colours I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it over a white base. You can do it over your, a natural base if you want to, but I just want the colours to pop a little bit more. So I'm using all of Madame Glam's products. So this is their perfect white. So I will apply uh, two coats and cure each layer in my lamp for 30 seconds. So these are the nude colours that I have chosen from Madame Glam. So I'm just going to show you the bottoms of them now. So I'm using Butter Up. Sweater Weather, Corny, Haystack, Perfect Black and Harvest Party. I'm going to be using my go-to nail brushes which is Divine by Natasha Lee. So uh, this is number two and it is a striper brush as you can see here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the gel and I'm basically going to just do lots of vertical lines using the colours, um, the different colours and just putting it in um, I haven't really got a set order I'm just sort of going with how I feel so obviously this is not I'm taking my time like most people could probably just go straight from the top to the bottom and perfect line well I can't so <laughs> you will have to watch me um, make mine look more like a line but obviously it, you know it's not going to dry because you're working with gels until you pop it in the lamp so you have got that little bit of time I would advise that you don't put it on too thick or too wide because it can end up starting to like um like sink into the other color and you can end up losing the effects before you've even started and it's already starting to do this uh, as you can see and try like i say keep your nails as flat as possible to avoid it sort of swirling and swooshing into each other so i did decide to add this gold i didn't show it at the start of the video but it's just their perfect gold from their perfect collection and then finishing off with this darker color here so there you go. So I sped all that bit up just to not bore you too much. But whenever I do the uh, effect where I'm, I'm doing the tie dye effect, I, this is all in real time. So I've just actually got a dotting tool, a really small dotting tool, and I'm just going round. Don't worry if you've like you can see the base underneath. You can sort that out afterwards, and just sort of finishing it off with a nice swirl. Now some gels are kind of like self-leveling, so you can see that that big line's already gone. So you just leave it a little bit, uh, and if it doesn't, then you can just sort of like do that, and it shouldn't really affect the overall look. So that's design number one. So moving on to design number two, I'm basically doing stripes again, but I'm going across the nail, and um, you know, just taking my fancy really with the colours trying to um, you know put them together nicely so there you go if only we could do it this quickly so can you see if you do it a little bit thick you see how mine's just like gone whoop on the one side so because of that I've slightly changed tack with what I was going to do so I'm going with my, uh, my dotting tool sorry and I'm going at a slightly diagonal angle which I really love You've kind of got like a wonky like chevron effect and I'm just trying to salvage that lap, that part of the nail which I think it's done. It's not as good as the other sides but you know it's not terrible. So that's design number two so you can see that that's really simple. So number three I'm actually going to do like a radial gradient now. So I started off with the dot and then I am going around and doing the colours and again like with this don't try try not to do it as um dead thick and try to keep the lines a similar sort of um sort of width so you just keep going around and like near the bottom normally you just have to do the top and the bottom of it you don't have to keep going around the whole of the nail and there you go 
so for this step it depends really what look you're trying to achieve so you can bring it in and it kind of has a bit more of a petal feel whereas with this i'm kind of doing i'm going to go outwards and try and achieve like a spiral so i'm not cleaning the brush off here as you can see i'm just going straight back in and kind of like trying to do the lines at a bit of a curve hopefully you can see that so obviously with this you can't just twist your nail like i'm doing so you're going to have to go from you know placing it flat and then doing it to look at it to kind of uh, you know work around it but just take your time there's no rush like i say this is how i'm doing it in real time so the here i was like oh hang on a minute it was like i found it difficult trying to like line it all back up again and really i probably should have cleaned the brush at that point because you can see that some of the black has uh, affected that a little bit but what you can do to kind of try and hide that is come in with a dotting tool and just sort of uh, swirl it together like so so just get it and just like put a little bit of a swirl so you've got like a swirly center point so i've kind of salvaged that one i think <laughs> Now with the last one, I've just done the stripes. Uh, I haven't bothered showing you how to do it again. So uh, this time I'm actually gonna go across the nail. So you put it across like that. And again, it just adds this um, really sort of nice wavy um, line going across the nail. So this is in uh, real time. I couldn't work out whether I should have used the black in the middle or whether that ruined it, whether I should have used the black somewhere else. I didn't know whether I kind of spoiled it having it, you know, so focal. Um, but I'd like to know your thoughts. Do you, do you think it kind of makes the look or would you have used a more of a subtle um, colour? So you can see that these are really easy to do and it's so fun i do love creating uh, nails like this and because like because of the nature of putting the uh, products on you're never going to get it exactly the same but that you like with this you can um obviously do all of these and have it on all of your nails or you could take one and have it as an accent and then use some nudie colors around it so I just wanted to do a try this effect to see whether it would work because you know what not everybody is a fan of bright nails and neon nails they want something a bit more subtle and like I say if you especially if you just have an accent nail you've got a really funky design but it's not on all of them so it's not too much so I would love to know your thoughts on this mani so that was it with glossy now this is it with a matte finish for me the matte finish just really sells this design not that I'm selling it, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I prefer it matte. But let me know what you think. And I would love it if you could, if you uh, love these enough to recreate it. And if you could tag me in on my Instagram at Jellylicious, then I will share your recreations on my story if you're okay with that. But your account needs to be public. It's no good if your account is private. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope that you liked this design. Um, and take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.